Hey guys, so today I'm back with my first ever baby haul since the baby has actually been here. Um, talking of Little River, if you can hear any squeaks or grunts or noises, she is asleep just next to me, so that is what it will be. It's not my stomach, it is her. Um, and today I wanted to do a haul of things that I've got since she's born for her, but also a couple of things for me as well. So it's gonna have lots of baby bits and bobs, some baby clothes as well, and then some clothes from my first ever shopping trip, being a mum because obviously my body has been through quite a lot of changes um, and it's taken me well she's seven weeks old this week so it's taken me that long to like be confident in myself enough to be like right I'm ready to maybe try a few new clothes now and not just wear my maternity stuff which I have been wearing since she's been born. Um, this video is also uh, a collaboration with My First Years and I'm really really excited to announce that I'm actually going to be collaborating with them over the next six months to share my journey of being a new mum with you all. If you don't know My First Years and you haven't been on their site before, it's basically an amazing kind of baby gifting site. They do lots of other things as well, but it's particularly good if you are buying presents for newborn babies because they personalize pretty much all of their stuff and it's amazing, it's really affordable and they have really gorgeous things. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff from them, um, but just to give you a bit of a background on them and I'm super excited to be collaborating with them because it's basically the place I go to whenever any of my friends or family have a baby and I wanna buy them a present, um, it's where I go to for that and I've also, had quite a lot of gifts from there for River um, and I've loved them. So I'm really excited to be collaborating with them. I am actually going to be sharing my kind of journey of being a new mum in some blog posts on their site. So if you want to see my experience of my first month, then that is up now. I'll pop a link below where you can check that out as well as a link to the site and all the products I'm about to talk about as well. Um, but yeah, I'm quite excited about that actually because I don't get, apart from my, my vlogs when I was pregnant, I haven't really like, spoken too much about like my feelings of like having her and stuff and it's actually been such a nice process writing that first blog post so I'm really excited for the next six months um to be sharing a little bit more of kind of how I feel um with the big changes going on in my life and things like that so um yeah this video is sponsored by my first years big thank you to them and I'm going to show you to start off by showing you some of the things that I've got from their site I'm going to show you firstly a couple of things they sent me when she was first born um which I've actually used quite a lot so these aren't new um, the first thing is this towel, which I absolutely love. You guys know I love stars. I'm kind of obsessed with stars. Um, but it's this baby towel with a hood. It's grey and white, which is basically my colour scheme for her. Like, she doesn't dress in a huge amount of pink or... Um, any particularly bright colours and stuff. I love her in grey and white. I just think she looks so beautiful. Um, and it has her in her name embroidered on, which is actually quite far away. So I'm gonna do a close up so you guys can see, but it says River N in baby pink on there. Um, and she uses this every bath time. Um, and yeah, it's just super cute. I've got some really cute pictures of her in that as well. And then another thing that I've used loads that they really kindly sent me when she's first born is a very similar kind of style, but it's a blanket. So this is the baby pink with um, cream stars and it says River Wren in silver. So I absolutely love that, it's gorgeous and she uses it loads kind of either for daytime naps or in her pram, um, it's just really, really lovely. So they're things that I had right when she was born and then they actually let me choose a few things from their site to do this video with. So this is kind of the stuff that I've picked. So first of all, I'm gonna show you this um, like buckets kind of, it's like a soft kind of laundry bag or a toy storage bag. Um, it says River on it, it's gray. <laughs> You're gonna see a theme here. It's gray with white stars. These are just really, really useful. I've got quite a few of the smaller ones um, that I use in her wardrobe to store like muslins and um, socks and things like that but this big one is either, I'm, I'm undecided whether it's going to be for teddies or for laundry because man does this baby get through some laundry seriously it's a lot um but yeah so inside here i've got some other of the other things that i picked from their site the first one i think these are probably my favorite there's these two bunny rabbits how gorgeous are these um they are the cutest, cutest, softest, fluffiest rabbits. And they have River on their ears. How sweet. So there's like a mummy rabbit and a baby rabbit. Um, these can probably sit on here for, I don't know if they'll sit up on, on this table. There we go. You guys can sit there. Don't fall over. Um, yeah, and then, so they're super cute and personalized as well. And then I also got this pouch, which is for my nappy bag, which says River's nappies and wipes. So if you're out and about and you need to change her, you can literally grab this which has nappies and wipes in it and go and change her without having to take like your whole nappy bag with you so I thought that was quite good um obviously it doesn't need to be personalized but it's nice that it is personalized um and then to go with that as well like in the same kind of vein um there's a changing mat 
which again has river embroidered on it it's a material one as well so it's really soft and cozy haven't actually used it yet um she's making some squeaky noises uh but a lot of them are kind of like hard plastic ones which i guess they wipe clean but you can't wash them whereas this one you can wash it it also has the removable um toweling section down the middle so if it gets poop or whatever on it um you can just wash that and then it has the sections to tuck your nappies and your wipes in and like spare clothes and things like that in the sides so that's cool i also like how it's an angel wing shape as well so that when they put their arms out because i've noticed when i go to change her in like public changing places she'll often be like ta-da and put her arms out and touch the like dirty plastic stuff on the sides that you don't really want your baby touching because there's obviously been all sorts of germs in public toilets and other babies and stuff so it has like that wing shape so that they don't get too dirty touching the sides and then there's also some little clothing bits the first thing this is my absolute favorite piece of clothing that they do on their site i think it's gorgeous is this little sleep suit which is silvery grey, it's actually a little bit creased because it's been in the bottom of this bag um, and it's got the little, what are these called? these little things that you blow on when you're a kid and you like blow to tell the time or whatever it is um, I can't remember the name of them, anyway super cute and it's got the little Peter Pan collar I love her in Peter Pan collars, I think they look so cute and little buttons and a bow and then it's got her name on there as well super gorgeous, it's really soft cotton I think that's so nice and then she's got a couple of matching bibs for that as well Actually there's three it came in a set of three so there's the pink one which has little bunny rabbits on it which is um personalized that says her name and then the other two that come in that set there's one the same print as the baby grow and then there's a really pretty just kind of plain stripey one and i like these as well because they're quite neutral and they kind of go with everything and then lastly in my bag of tricks i have this which is so awesome this is a wooden sausage dog toy this is what i mean by they do so many things on their site it's not just kind of clothes and furnishings they do like really cool toys and this is personalized too how cute is that i know it's going to be a while before she's actually playing with this but i really wanted it to put on the windowsill in her um nursery because i just think it's so cute really cool um and then lastly there's something else which was too big to put in the bag i also got her whoa it's heavy this toy chest which is so cool. This is actually to put blankets in for the moment, but I think once she gets a bit bigger and she's actually in her um, room, I'm actually filming in her room at the moment in case you haven't seen the room tour um, for, and you're wondering where I am. Um, this is in her room, but at the moment she's sleeping in our room. So her cot is full of teddies. Um, and obviously they don't sleep with teddies in their cot because it's dangerous for them. Um, but I think when she moves in here, I'm gonna put this fill it up with all her teddies but for the moment I'm going to put blankets in it because we have a lack of storage for blankets for some reason I have so many like blankets sheets like sleeping bags all that kind of stuff for her seriously babies come with a lot of stuff but it means you get to store them in cute things like this um I absolutely love that and I'd wanted something I don't know what now where to put it because everything's fallen down um I'd wanted something like that for a while as well for this room and I can't hadn't really like found one that was perfect and that's perfect so um that I got for her as well so moving on to some bits and bobs of clothing that I've bought for her over the past few months also that a few things I've got as gifts as well and some of these have been worn some of them haven't um it's basically like my favorite things I've bought her since she's been born the first one is a new one that actually hasn't been worn yet this is a kind of coatigan cardigan coat type thing from M&S so cute so warm it's seriously seriously thick and we are going skiing next week which is why i thought she needed this she's got a few kind of thicker cardigans and she's obviously got pram suits um and like snowsuit type things but you can't wear those in car seats um and it's actually like they're they're basically like a starfish when you put them on like they can't properly like get in and stuff so um this is like halfway in between it's not as thick as a coat but it's thicker than a cardigan so it's warmer so i feel like when we're kind of out and about and when it's really cold it'll actually be better than kind of just wrapping her up in just a blanket super cute as well it's got little ears and it was only 12 pounds which i thought was really good for m s because the quality is really good they do these in lots of different colors um I liked the white one because it's got this kind of blue chevron design on the inside. A lot of the other colours actually have like um, cartoons and stuff on the inside which as you guys will know and you'll realise from like my kind of choices of baby clothes I don't really like that kind of style like I basically like to dress her like a mini person as opposed to like a cartoon. Um, you will see anyway. The next thing I got is from Next. 
Nexus from Next. This is possibly the cutest thing ever. It's a little pinafore skirt. I don't know how practical this is gonna be, but it is possibly the most adorable thing in the world. I also love that it's like a charcoal-y black color. It's really hard to find black or kind of dark colored baby clothes that aren't boys. Um, a lot of the time I will shop, I shop in the boys section for her all the time. A lot of the time I go to the boys section first, if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was so cute. That was nine pounds from Next. And then the next two things are both from Zara. But I think these are going to look amazing with that skirt, actually. Um, these were a gift from my friend Jenny. So I, oh, they're just so cute. She's actually worn this one quite a few times. This is like a little pink shirt. It's actually got a body at the bottom, which is really good. So it doesn't come untucked. Um, it's just the most beautiful, beautiful little... I love it. And how cute would that look with that? I'm loving it. It's going to be so good. And then the next one is a starry one. Um, this is like a grey mull shirt with a Peter Pan collar again with little stars all over it. Gorgeous. That was also from Zara. And this would look good with the next thing, which is a pair of leggings. <laughs> These are from Primark. I actually really, really rate the Primark kids section. I only really shop in Primark for things like socks and pants and pajamas. Um, I don't really buy clothes for me from there. But they do some really good baby things. Um, they had, I think these were three pounds or something like something like that. They're either three pounds or four pounds. But they're basically like leggings that look like kind of jeans. I could never put her in jeans. I know some people put their babies in jeans, but I just think they look so uncomfortable. I know how uncomfortable jeans are, and I just think, yeah, I'd, I'm, I'd like skinny jeans on babies, but these look like skinny jeans, but they're obviously like kind of leggings, so I thought they were so cute. Um, I actually went a size up in these as well. These are all three to six, the leggings from Primark, and they do fit her. Um, I also got a, t a double pack of these, but actually I've only got the blue ones to show you. I was looking for plain leggings everywhere because a lot of the leggings that they do have either like frills on the bottom or like some kind of pattern on them or something and I just wanted plain grey and navy leggings and they did a two pack. There was these ones and some like light grey ones in there and then I also got another pack that had like light grey with roughly bottoms. Both of those are actually in the wash because she wears them all the time but Primark for baby leggings are amazing and they're about £2.50 for two or something like that so really really good and then lastly I also got some things from H&M I've actually found H&M baby really hard to find stuff in in store but online they're amazing and I actually managed to find a few things um a few pairs of leggings again she had she really needed leggings so I went a bit all out on leggings and now she has way too many leggings but how adorable are these? She actually hasn't worn these ones yet because they're a little bit big. They're two to four months. This is another thing with H&M. They do funny sizes. Like, instead of doing 0 to 3 and 3 to 6, they do 2 to 4. And then I think 4 to 6. Um, I guess it makes sense. It just depends how fast your baby grows. But these are so cute. They do also do the hoodie of this. Um, I just think so adorable. Like, little polka dot grey leggings. And they're so soft. And then they also do these ones, which are actually really useful. If you don't like putting socks on your baby. Socks are kind of annoying on babies because they do fall off a lot. Um, they do these little leggings with feet so these are the grey ones then I also have cream ones and they're quite high waisted as well so they're good if you want to pull them right up so they don't fall down and then they also do these brown ones with um, the stripes so I got three of those and then lastly I oh know I've got two more things actually H&M Baby they do black bodies so I, I put vests on her pretty much every day because it's obviously winter. Um, but if you're looking for something to like layer up and you don't want white, it's so hard to find like non, if it's not printed or white, like basically you can't really find black, dark gray. It's really hard to find black baby stuff, but I love black baby stuff. I wear black all the time. Why shouldn't the baby wear black? Um, anyway, so they do the long sleeved bodies in black. Um, they are, these actually don't have the price on them anymore. I think they're about six quid for two, something like that. These are actually in, one to two months but they're quite big i think they'll fit her now but she hasn't worn them yet so that's she's gonna be wearing those tomorrow um and then lastly from h m i also picked up this pack of bibs like i said before she wears bibs all the time and i really like this style of bib that's like the bandana style but also these ones are good because they have a bit of ruching in them which when you have a baby with a bit of a double chin like she has <laughs> she's got a really good double chin right now it's cute um but they managed to kind of like the bib doesn't sometimes always go right under because the chin gets in the way, whereas these like are quite good at catching the milk from being dribbled when it isn't quite right in there. Sometimes it goes right right down the neck. Anyway, I'm waffling. These are cute. They're really soft as well. I think these were £5 for three. And then moving on to the things that I bought for myself. Um, I've got three things. 
I actually went shopping the other day with my friend Libby and tried on things for the first time and actually felt good about it and I was so excited like because I just feel like every time I've tried on anything from my wardrobe that was pre-pregnancy I just ended up feeling sad because either it doesn't fit or it doesn't look good so um obviously it's only seven weeks down the line I'm not expecting to like snap back into shape but you still want to feel good in your clothes you know what I mean and I think it gets to a point where all of my pregnancy stuff is now too big like my maternity stuff is getting a bit big but all my old stuff is a bit too small so I wanted to get a few things that were new and kind of I knew that I would wear as well if I do lose more weight when hopefully when I lose more weight um so yeah I got three things the first thing is this t-shirt which is super cute and again it's cut quite loosely so I ended up getting a small in this um I think actually I oh know one thing's an extra small um and this is just like a stripey t-shirt that says L'Amour in red stitching on it really like that we look cool with just like jeans and yeah a leather jacket maybe and then I also picked up this this is a little bit out there for me because I don't wear blazers and this is like full-on schoolboy blazer slash Henley <laughs> I don't know it looks like I'm going boating but I really like it I don't know guys what do you think of blazer do you like blazers um I do feel like sometimes my style is very like non- like, it's not like smart enough for blazers, but I thought, you know what, sod it, I'm gonna get a blazer. I think this would look really cool with just a plain white t-shirt, like kind of distressed jeans and like some nice black boots or something like that. Just really, it's quite a statement, but I think if you dress it down with everything else, then yeah, it's a really nice material as well, it's really soft. And then lastly, can you tell I'm into the stripes at the moment? <laughs> everything I bought is like heavily striped. Um, and this is a loose fitting shirt. This is actually a size extra small and it is massive, like that it, like is very very wide so they're obviously cut to be loose fitting um because normally i would be a small maybe even a medium in h&m so they're cut quite big and this is still loose on me as well so um they are cut big and they have like the big wide sleeves like, look how wide that is i really like it though it's got that v-neck which doesn't have buttons it's all kind of just quite open quite casual look quite nice like left down at the back and then tucked in at the front kind of pajama style i like it a lot though so that is it for everything for my haul video. I'm surrounded by stuff now. I need to go and tidy up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, go and check out my blog post for my first years if you want to know a little bit more about the last kind of month in my life and how I've been finding being a mum. And yeah, I hope you're all really well and I will see you very soon. Bye.